Hey guys, I'm back. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Polaroid 420. Now, I did take down my old video of this because it, it kind of sucked and I was really handling the camera pretty badly. Oh, sorry. I was handling the camera actually really badly. Was, now that I look back at it, I'm like, oh god, I hope, I'm glad I didn't break it. Um, so here it is. Let the camera back a little bit. Polaroid 420 on my clan camera. Released in 1971 and was produced until 1977. So this makes this thing around 47 years old, I believe. Yes. <clears throat> so if we take a look on the camera, we have... There's no flash. You would actually buy the flash separately and put it on here. Um, you have the viewfinder and the focus um, finder thingies. Have the red, big red button. Have the strap, which I think is original. And the Polaroid 420 sticker. Back we have viewfinder, which you will look through. Let's see. So we're seeing outer line. Then we have the focus, which I will show you later. So we have the battery compartment, which is right here. This does work, but they don't make any phone for this anymore. See, of course, I did the AAA thingy. Just kind of took out those those studs and just pick in. Let's see if you The film holder. Of course, I make film, so I don't have any film. I do have the original cartridge that my grandmother gave me. Tin. Inner lens. And the outer lens is out front. We have the rollers, which you can t remove to clean and clean it just like so. Pull right lens camera. Pull this back. The reason why I sound so professional, sort of, because I just woke up. It's like I don't know. I don't know what time it is. So I have my. Watch on me. Let me check what time it is. 10.30. <laughs> yeah, it's some break. Yay. Now I'm just going to pop this out and remove it. Since it's removed, we'll take a look at it. Undo this. Undo the AC. You must have the Polaroid cold clip. You can read this if you do wish to. Go. We have the, the flash guide. It's just spring loaded right here, so you can just put like maybe business cards or money in here if you want. So if like like if you're back in the seventies taking pictures of people and like, getting paid to do that, then yeah, it's one way to get a job or get paid. So here we have here we have the actual camera itself. Now this is a wonderful camera. I've tried it before. It's really good. Um, I do have a picture somewhere. It's really blurry though. I'm not sure where it went, but. Quality is really good. Now, this is the lens. This is how I take it out. Slow switch, pull it up. See how it pops out. Do it again. Straight up. And then you just pull it out. I think it's called the Ballard. I don't know what it's called. And there you go. I think this is where you would plug in the flash, I do believe. I'm not sure about that. Because I don't have the flash, flash at all. I have the lens. It's 420. Pull right out of my gland camera, dark lining, it's just exposure. If you want to be all the way up, you can, all the way down, you can. But pull right does recommend having it like that. Light, light sensor, it's all like a, a rubber. And let me show you the focus. So if I put my camera upwards, you can hopefully see that the focus. Let me get an object so you guys can see it. So I'm going to use my little Takara Optimus Prime. Right here. There go, make sure it's aimed at it correctly. Hopefully it's far enough. Yeah, bring it back a lot. You can see him right there. He is actually out of focus. 
I need to be way far back. Just move this guy. Way far back from the camera, because I think the uh, minimum is like a meter or something. I don't know how far it goes. I need to look it up. <laughs> See? Just the prime. There's prime in there. Out of focus, you can see. I'm just gonna get him in focus. He's still out of focus. Oh my gosh. Come on back all the way. Me. Move him downwards. Okay, I wanna drop him because he's from Japan. This one is. Other ones you can find like eBay or something. Guys, you see that? That prime is moving. Really hard to hold this with one hand. It's really heavy. Let's see. Yeah, he is still out of focus. Oh my gosh. We'll be right back once he's in focus. I do have him in focus. I have to move all the way over here. I can see that it's a one. One still image, we put it out of focus for you guys. See, now he's just one image. Now, once you have him focused, you want to. I'm just gonna demonstrate here, see it, say that he's in focus right now. So, first, if you put him in focus and the camera doesn't work, here's where you can test it. Let me bring the shutter down. It does work with the shutter down as well. So, you have it cocked. And you have a bright light, just like I do on my ceiling fan. You block off the light sensor, and then you're gonna hear two clicks. But with the light sensor blocked, you're gonna hear one. One click, the camera's like, hey, I need light, where is it? Look, I let my finger go. Second click. That means the shutter has closed, and the exposure in the, in the, um, the film has the, has the picture on it and it's developing. So let me take this back up for you guys and look through the viewfinder. See, he is now ready to, to take a picture. Cock the camera and take the shot. There you go. You hear two clicks, that means it was ready. Now what you would do is you would pull out the tab, pulls one side out, pull that out, and the other side will have the other film out. Wait for the film to develop, like maybe five minutes or so, then peel it off, negative and the positive. Unfortunately, they don't make film anymore, Fujifilm. Um, I think it was the only company that made it, made film from this camera, and they stopped production of it. Of course they did. Now they're worth like 600 bucks, $45, really expensive. And that kind of sucks, since me, I'm not, I don't have the best money, I don't, I don't have the money for the film, especially for 10 packs, like, 10 packs, now um, for, um, 10 film sheets, it's kind of expensive, $10 is expensive too, but, but $45 is through 600 bucks, that's really expensive, people buy them, it's like $500 for 10, like, why? Let me put this back together. All you do is slide this down. And it should connect just like that. Pull this up. And there you go. And that is the Polaroid 420 automatic lane camera. I would recommend this camera if you have a collection of them. It is a very nice camera for a collection. And I have shot pictures with this before. And the quality is, is amazing, especially for the time, 1977-ish. Um, all this thing needs is a good cleaning and uh, instruction manual. See, I mentioned the instruction manual. And that's basically it. That's all this camera needs. And it will be, she'll be all good. Now, my grandmother did, did give this to me. And I'm not sure when she bought it, but I do love it still. I'm going to display this. Um... Now let me show you the evolution of it. We have 1971, 1977, 2014, 2018, 17. Sorry about that. Let me get the lens of this so it doesn't look ugly. Now here's the evolution of Polaroid. 
Super Portal Blade started dying out because now it's just an impossible project for film, which isn't the best, in my opinion. Um, and Fujifilm smooth cameras, which I might get a camera for my birthday. The Fujifilm Instax, Mini Instax 9, which I heard is pretty good. Um, but the Instax 8 is basically just the same thing, just, just without the selfie mirror. But I think the selfie mirror looks really tacky on there. I'm not going to take any selfies with it because who wants to, because who wants to see my ugly face? <laughs> None of you guys, that's for sure. Um, so, my Instax 8, probably my best go for. And I might just double exposures, but not really. Actually, no, no, double, expo no double exposures for me. I just want to get the film. Nice. I'm gonna take pictures. I will post pictures on my Instagram if I do get if I do get the camera. Uh, speaking of Instagram, go follow it down below. It's at Nicholas underscore Montanez thousand four. And I'll see you guys later. Remember to like the video, comment down below, hit that big red subscribe button if you do like my content, and um share it if you if you have a friend interested in my in my content or, or in the videos I do. I'll see you guys later. Bye.